Hey everyone, welcome. So playing Skyrim today. Gonna be doing a Breton Mage, of course. <laughs> Nothing exciting, no challenge mode. Just uh that's what we're gonna do. Taking a break on the Paladin and Barbarian video for now. We'll see how it goes in the future, but uh hope you guys enjoy. Alright, here we go. So let's turn that off because I don't like it. I don't like it in this game, I like it in Fall 4. Not that kind of game where food really heals you a lot anyway. So arrows, I don't need those. Favorite that. And so let's see here. It's nice to give you some supplies if you're doing live another life, you know. It helps. Yeah, so we're just going to play as normal. So let's go to Hulgen. Hulgen. Let's go to Hulgen and figure some stuff out. So I'm just going to have those. Maybe when I find dragons, I can use that, I think. Oh. Nope. <laughs> there goes all my mana in one. A Master Conjurer. I really miss magic in Oblivion though. It just feels so much more impactful. I'm being able to have like a sword in one hand and then, you know, you don't, it just uh, feels nice. I don't know. Feels more of an RPG. What? People don't play Oblivion anymore, really. Kind of wish we could have got a lot of cool mods for that. That was a long time ago, though. Read the journal. Yes, yeah, so this isn't a... Uh... Oh, I hate that. This is not a challenge mode video, like I said. Um, so I'll use swords if I want to use swords. Use magic if I want. Limiting yourself is okay sometimes, but I like to play normally now. I think it's cool on live stream to limit yourself like that, you know. Interesting. Mix it up a bit. Uh, who, who should we go with? Probably Imperial because we're Breton. Falcon Keep is a level 6 zone. What? Not today it isn't. It's gonna be feel weird not doing archery, but I can still do archery with Conjuration too. But not too much. Bring Hadvar a healing potion. All right, let's go. Oh, there goes my gold. No. Here it is. You can never go like pure magic, I think. So I'm probably going to like collect a lot of staves. Looks like he's gone. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Let me have some bandits. Get our stone. Never should have come here. Time to get lost, 
friend. Get him. I didn't really think that out. I'm like, wait, I don't have a weapon equipped. Advar to the rescue. And I've got an arrow in my nose. Like right in my nose. I think it's Daker. Or when we're out. Okay, black robes. Looks magey. This new EMB preset's pretty bright, I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's like really white. Just tone it down a bit. That's a little bit better. That's Thief. Mage stone gained. These are the guardian stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Mage, eh? Well, to each his own. It's not for me to judge. You're just jealous of my power, aren't you? I knew it. Yeah, I got everything I need. Come with. Good boy. Yeah, you can never go up Cure Mage in Elder Scrolls. You have to... Kind of mix it and match it with other stuff. Oh man, that is a long animation, isn't it? I don't know if I want to do that every time. job best boy all right spell tome clairvoyance
<laughs> that was close. I don't need armor. I'll wear fancy mod armor later. Don't really need uh, iron either. Not gonna be upgrading my weapons at all. Waste of time, right? I'll probably focus on enchanting more. I'm a vampire. Be nice to actually put my vampire skills to use with destruction. So I thought I would get some Imperials right away because you get some free ingots from the blacksmith here. I get summit bonus experience. There you are. Finally. It was hard to find you. I have got a personal delivery for you. Just a moment. Here it is. An important letter directly from the Thalmor headquarter. Okay, that's all. Bye. Okay, okay. Come and see. Did I see you talking to Sven? We'll get you something what? Here. What is it now, Mother? Me all about Ain't every day we get visitors. Of course. Take what you need. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? Dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. A dragon. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Hello, cool. next time. Give me your ingots. Like, I have to do some smithing. I'm not going to do a lot of it, but... I was just joking about that, but... I'm not going to go out and like get ore all the time. Like once I have a companion, I'll get them to do it. But you still need it for some outfits. Yeah. Um, but right now, they know that you can actually craft staves. That. Bolt home fireball and firewood. I wonder if they have wands in the in Tessex, you know? Probably. Alright, what do we got? Ring of sneaking. Don't really need that. I might just sell it, you know. So that's well one of us has to do something i said no yeah, well, i don't know what you overheard but the riverwood trader is still open uh yeah we, we did have a bit of a, a break in but we, we still have plenty to sell robbers were only after one thing an ornament solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw you could 
got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those seeds, you should... The sooner you... Take a look. Hey, I need some new spells there, but... So, raid zombie... Uh, I think they gave you frostbite in like a bunch of dungeons, I, th I believe. Fairy. So fairy is good for illusion. If you're trying to like get enemies away from you in a in a jiffy. Don't care about oh flesh. I'll grab Fury. You never know. Okay, let's sell him, sell him some stuff. Good for now, I think. Oh, there's booze. Have some booze. All right then. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Bleak Falls Barrow is just outside of town. I can show you. Sure thing. It's always good to have someone to talk to. My brother and I came from the city of Skingrad originally, where our family used to own a lucrative business. Yeah, I remember going there. My parents passed away a few years after I was born, so my brother Lucan has been the only family I've really known. Well, we have our fights, as do any siblings, but we both know we're all each other's got. Some burglars came into the shop and tried to steal our heirloom. My parents did their best to protect it, but they weren't fighters. I'm not sure if it was pity, or simply that they didn't want to wait around and find out, but they didn't bother to come get Lucan and I. <laughs> I wonder if it was my Oblivion character that did that. Well, they died when I was just four, so I don't have much memory of them anyway. Still, I often wonder what it's like to have parents who nurture you. Maybe our lives would have been completely different. My brother Lucan, of course. He never expected to inherit the business at such a young age. Much less so that he'd have to play father for his little sister. But here I am, all grown up and healthy. So all things considered, he wasn't half bad as a guardian. Well, after the Great War, the Empire could barely pay for the palace guards. The City Watch's resources were stretched thin, so crimes ran rampant. But can you imagine? Skingrad, with burglars who barged into shops in broad daylight, was considered one of the well-off cities in Cyrodiil. It's no wonder so many Imperials like Lucan and I came to Skyrim these few years. I don't blame you. Imperial's actually my favorite race. Cool. Oh, really? Well, I, think I actually didn't know that. I've never asked her that. No, I... He's a pretty good guy. Careful. Never, ever asked her about her family ever in my entirety of playing this game. Yeah, he comes up pretty quick. Got to be quick on the draw. I am a thief mage. That's my official title. I'll probably try a different preset too for the next one. Trying to get my Breton ones to load. I think I just have too many race mini presets and I think you're capped at a certain amount. Come on, Camilla. <laughs> My bare feet. You coming? Oh, she was talking to me. I could tell you that the game would look like this like 10 years ago 
or even 12 years ago, like you, I would not believe myself. Can you imagine showing someone like in-game footage of Skyrim in 2012 or 2011 from 2024, 2025, like what the hell? Oh, it's a companion. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. I envy you. You get to go on adventures again. See you later, Camilla. Oh man, I didn't realize how much how dark it was with the without the lantern. Oh wait. Don't I have new spells? So I'm kinda of thinking like one handed destruction or like all the magic schools and one handed. With a little bit of sneak and light and um no light armor, no heavy armor. But I'll wear it if it's like a modded armor, but I'm not gonna spec into it. Why do I alright oh, <laughs> I stole from him, I forgot. Uh books. Yeah, that's Ambriel. Don't get her, she's too overpowered. Is that really illusion? Guess so. It just shows you the way. So if you ever stuck on a quest, it'll show you where to go. You probably know that. The game's been out forever. Kind of nice though. Especially on like raiding quests that don't have the objective right away. Well, maybe I should actually do that. Conjure, flames. Can't wait to level up so I can actually uh, get more magicka. I <laughs> need some shoes tuned, Sue. Too. Oh man, I can't talk tonight. I'm just not with it. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I've been playing Morrowind lately. And you have to like wait when you want to recover mana. I'm like, oh wait, my mana's coming back naturally. I'm thinking like short blades. Got cool armor though. Yes, Aru. <laughs> I was just realized when I said I'm gonna be using short blade. That's only from uh, 
Morrowind. Because there's a difference between long blade and short blade. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's put fur shoes on so her feet don't freeze. I have yet to find a really, really, really good high poly preset that I like. I have this one in Fallout 4 I use all the time. Like, it's just my favorite. I just, I don't know. I can't find one that really sticks with me. I might just use one from my stream that I, I tend to use a lot. I don't even remember what the original preset was, you know. She's gone. Oh, I just need a lot for that. Wait, how much is it? Oh, it's like all of my mana, pretty much. There we go. Oh, I was like, please don't miss. Get him. Oh, yeah. Good job, slave. So I was playing old Skyrim the other day, and this is like night and day difference. It's crazy. Just the effect that mods have is unreal. Oh. Help me out, if you mind. Oh yeah, that's better. Get him. Oh, sorry dude. <laughs> he didn't make it. can use you though your body will work not in a creepy that, even, that sounded way too creepy i don't get arrested by the youtube police now okay Pretty sure I'm getting hunted by them anyway, so. So it's a uh, snake, snake, whale. What? No.
I should try to find like an HD mod for the stones. Stones on the the claw doors. I think my companion died. Yep. Come on. Get him. Get him. Oh, man. Get it away. I uh, forgot how overpowered the bear is. He's like level 35, and they put him. He's the only bear that's that level that's here. It's really weird the way the modder did this. Um. Dude, how did I choose this last time? Oh man, that barely even touched him. Like, barely. Wonder if I can... Can he even get up here? Shoot, where is he? Is he stuck? <laughs> I think I cheesed him. Oh no, he's right there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cheese it like this, I guess. Just like the death claw in that one place. Okay, so mana potions. Healing magicka. Oh wow, those don't do very much. They do so much on Morrowind. Yeah, we're going to have to cheese it like this. It's the only way. There we go. Morrowind style combat. Up yours, buddy. There. He's like the only hard one. It's just because I replaced the spiders with bears because I don't like spiders. And this bear is broken for some reason. He's like level 25 or 30 or 35 in a, like a level 5 area. Wait, why did he put barrels up there? Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Oh, he ran away. Okay, well. Wait, I mean, how did he get down there? Can you see that from like other another spot maybe? 
<laughs> I also didn't notice the modder put barrels everywhere. Oh, he's going to die anyway, so let's use him. Oh, wait, I need to loot his body. Oh, he bugger, he didn't get him. There. <laughs> Good job. We did it. Good job, Arvel. You have served your purpose. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh man, it's like the is the cheese it playthrough. But he has everything to your advantage, right? need a zombie. Oh, no, I missed. There. Ooh, that hurt. My follower is... Well, there he is. Thanks for the help. Took those old bones forever to get up. Thanks for nothing. Leave Mage at work. Okay, let's, uh, what's this one? Interrupts targets that are casting a spell? That's pretty awesome, I think. 
Especially when you're fighting like other mages. Okay, one handed. Sneaky mage. Oh, I think my, my old bones there are long gone. You'll do. So I can get a frost satcher knock. Uh oh. Run! <laughs> Quick! Oh, that guy was tough. Stronger than all the rest. for some food. Ooch, ooch. Oh, ow. Oh, no, not in time. Took too much bleeding damage. I forgot you take bleed damage in this with one of my mods. Oof. You know what? Oh, he almost made it through. He'll be of use to me at least. Oh, sorry, bud. Is he actually going to walk through? Yep. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Oh, you rip you too. This guy coming up might be a bit of a tr uh, challenge for me. All right, bear moth owl.
Oh, I can't even jump. There. Actually, it seems familiar. Good for like what one hit. What if I can hit them? What I might do is like start off flaming the guy and then have him run around. And then cast it. Oh, whoops, uh, wrong thing out. No. Oh, I gotta give him the run around now. Dagger, oh, stuck. This is the mage life. I pretty much just r run and gun. Oh, it's terrain. Now you do your thing. I dare you. Can I summon him again? Oh. I have to finish this myself. Did it. Very weird not playing an archer, let me see. Every playthrough starts off as something else and ends up being an archer. Watch me using just conjuration bound bow. Halfway through the game. Go visit Annas, I think. I really hope Jeremy Sewell is doing test six music. Really, really hope. I love his music in Oblivion. Oblivion, Skyrim, everything he's done. That was like how many years ago? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Just gonna have a little peek around the cabin, Annas. I don't think she'll mind, will she? What have we here? Soretta Necromancer. Hey, it's the booty necromancer clothes. One linen wrap. Dress linen wrap leather. Oh, I should have grabbed some of those linen wraps from the dungeon. Maybe I'll go back later and do that. Letter from Annas. Elgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have to only reach out and grasp it. He wants this girl to renounce her boyfriend and go live with her in a cottage so they can be like a vampire coven. 
I'll take it. It's good to read. Oh, and there's the crafting stuff for Soteta. I can make that when I get back. Booty clothes. I don't think I'll steal her flute. She probably wants it. So level up. Just say health. Just a bit. Uh, pickpocket for the carry weight. Hey, wait. It is right. There. Oh, and I haven't actually eaten ingredients yet either. Yum. Oh, Fortify Conjuration. There we go. I win. It was a mage off and I won. Oh, <laughs> naked old lady body. Oh, wait, was that regeneration? Oh, it was. How fast is that? Now? Oh my God, that's so much faster. Here we are. Then fast traveling everywhere. So they said I could make it here. So let's uh, uh, go through everything before I get to it. I don't want stats on it. That's kind of cheating to me. So let's make that. So Teta gloves. So Teta. Oh, boots and stockings and scarf. There. The whole set. It's not enchanted though. Um, I'll wear that for the next one though. Yeah. Good news, Lucan. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. I bring you good tidings. The sooner our lives can get back to normal. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You know what's funny is you can steal this so much to us to have the claw back where it when he goes to bed and just resell it again. It's a fine day with you around. Sure thing. It's always good to have someone to talk to. I guess he's just afraid. After all, I am all the family he's got. To raise me and manage our parents' business, he missed his best years to start his own family. If anything were to happen to me out there, then he would truly be alone. Best years? Well, actually, I would say your best years are like your 20s. With the devastation of the Great War, so too came absurd taxes. For the Emperor had gotten into a debt that can't be repaid in of course, yeah. generations. In the end, my brother decided it wasn't worth living down in Cyrodiil anymore, paying the Empire six coins for every ten he made. So he sold the business and had us move to Skyrim. Better life, better law, and better taxes. Fresher air too, that's of no doubt. Darn Biden. Well, that's easy. The food. For all the fine qualities of the Nords, being good cooks isn't one of them. Here, it's just sweet rolls, meat, then sweet rolls again. But then, who would understand the culinary arts better than an Imperial? Oh. 
Are they actually edible? No, that wasn't sarcasm. That's genuinely a question. I thought those were just ritual things that they use when they worship the Daedra. <laughs> Sujama. I do have fond memories of the Kabsa and Musakan I had from the Red Guard chef at Skingrad. More's to the point that Cyrodiil simply had better food, both from us Imperials and the other peoples. Breton food? Ha. Huh. Their portion can barely fill a child, and they spend more time to make the dish look pretty than they do to make it flavorful. I would assume bread food to be like slop. Kind of like British food. Sure, if I can afford them. Not really. I had a few friends back in Skingrad, but most of them have moved to Skyrim or High Rock already. Then there's family, but all my family is in Skyrim and you know who he is. If there's anything about Cyrodiil that I miss, I guess it's the food. But it's not like I can't find good food here. I just have to learn how to make them. Of course. That's quite the conversation. All right, then. Well, guys, that's it for today. Uh, next time, I guess we'll hit to Whiterun. And then probably start college stuff right away. Get those sweet robes, get those college boots. All right, I'll see you guys later. That's really not at the top of my list, no. Please, Camilla, I need you to focus. Okay, okay. Just trying to make this place a little less boring. <laughs>